In this video, you are going to learn about weather fronts. And so there are four types of weather fronts. Warm fronts, cold fronts, stationary fronts, and occluded fronts. And you see the symbols that are usually shown on weather maps to represent the four different types of fronts. In this video, you're going to see four animations, and you will actually, in your workbook, uh, draw diagrams of each animation. Warm fronts. In this animation, you are going to see how a warm front is created. So we see a warm air mass coming from the left, and it's actually going to meet up with this cool air mass. And you see the type of weather that is formed at that boundary where the two air masses are meeting. So what I want you to do is in your workbook on the warm air mass or warm air front um, page, I need you to draw a diagram of what you see. Click pause so you can make sure to have detail in your diagram. The more detail you have, the higher your score. Warm fronts. At a warm front, a slowly moving warm air mass collides with a slowly moving cold air mass. Because cold air is denser than warm air, the warm air rises over the cold air. Clouds, storms, and rain often accompany warm fronts. If the warm air is dry, scattered clouds form. If the warm air is humid, that means very moist, showers and light rain fall along the front where the warm and cold air meet. Because warm fronts move more slowly than cold fronts, the weather may be rainy or foggy for several days. You're going to use that information I just read to fill in those uh, the types of weather that are associated with warm fronts underneath the diagram that you already drew. Cold fronts. This is an animation of a cold front. So what we see is the warm air is moving now from the right and the cold air mass is coming from the left. And where that boundary, where those two air masses meet, it shows the type of weather that is created. So please click pause and on your workbook page, draw a diagram of exactly what you see. The more detail in your diagram, the higher your score. Cold fronts. A cold front occurs when a rapidly moving cold air mass runs into a slowly moving warm air mass. Because cold air is denser than warm air, the cold air mass remains close to the ground and sinks under the less dense warm air mass. As the warm air rises above the cold air, the warm air cools. It soon chills to the temperature at which water vapor in the air condenses into droplets of liquid water. Towering cumulus and cumulonimbus clouds form from the drops of water produced by the rapid rise of warm air. Because cold fronts move quickly, they can cause abrupt weather changes. Strong winds and severe thunderstorms are often linked to cold fronts. If there is enough water vapor in the warm air, heavy rain or snow may even fall. But if the warm air contains little water vapor, the cold front may be accompanied only by cloudy skies. Use this information to fill in those blanks underneath the diagram. So tell me what types of weather are associated with cold fronts. Stationary front. This animation is going to show stationary fronts. So we have cold air mass coming from the left, a warm air mass coming from the right, and that stationary front, that boundary where the two air masses meet, is where I'm going to get a type of weather. So in your workbook, you need to click pause and you need to draw this diagram. Remember, the more detail you have in your diagram, the higher your score. Stationary fronts. Sometimes cold and warm air masses meet, but neither one has enough force to move the other. The two air masses face each other and in a standoff. In this case, the front is called a stationary front. Where the warm and cool air meet, water vapor in the warm air condenses into rain, snow, fog, or clouds. A stationary front can remain stalled over an area for many days. So use this information to fill in the types of weather that are associated with stationary fronts. 
that is listed below your diagram that you just finished. The last front is occluded front. In this animation, you're going to see an occluded front. So on the left, we see the cool air mass coming. We also have a cool air mass on the right. But above both of those cool air masses, we have warm air mass. So now what you're going to do in your workbook is you're going to draw a diagram of everything you see here. Remember, the more details you have, the higher your score. So please click pause so you can draw this diagram. Occluded fronts. The most complex weather situation occurs at an occluded front. At an occluded front, a warm air mass is caught between two cooler air masses. The denser cool air masses move underneath the less dense warm air mass and push it upward. The two cooler air masses meet in the middle and may mix. The temperature near the ground becomes cooler. The warm air mass is cut off or occluded from the ground. As the warm air cools and its water vapor condenses, the weather may turn cloudy and rainy or snowy. Here is an opportunity for extra credit. Tell me on a small piece of paper from my desk, what does occluded mean? Be sure to put your name on the paper to get credit and turn it into the tray. Good luck.